good, man? Rolling. Okay. All right, guys, I'm going to open up the mic here. Video is started, recording. We'll resume here with the Cardinals in game Zoom, and joining us is pitcher John Gant. Questions for John? Jeff Jones, Belleville News Democrat. Hey, John, I'm watching this game on TV today, and the broadcast made thought it was an interesting point that I kind of wanted to ask you about. But in the time since you were last the starter regularly, that maybe you had developed more of your repertoire, and now you have four full pitches you're all the way relying on, as opposed to maybe you weren't all the way there like two years ago, the last time you were in a rotation. Does that sound reasonable to you? Like, is, do you feel like you've developed more of those, and that? goes towards success as a starter this time around? Uh, more of those, plural, I would say no. I would say uh, one particular pitch being the cutter, um, cutter, slider, whatever you want to whatever you want to call it. Um, that pitch in particular, yeah, has come a long way. But uh, multiple pitches, I would say no to that. How much then, I guess, does the, the cutter, slider, whatever we're going to call it, play into the mix. Like I, I would imagine that the way it plays off of a higher velocity fastball plus your changeup, which you talk so much about, is probably pretty important for you. Yeah, I would say uh, it, it all depends on the game, you know. Uh, I think as a starting pitcher, you kind of go out there with, you know, slightly different stuff every outing. Today, it was huge. Threw a, threw a ton of cutters today and um, got, some, got some outs, got a lot of outs with it. Some swing and misses, uh, some strike one, some get ahead pitches. Um, Today, I would say I would say it was a big difference, but uh, game to game, just just depends on you know how my stuff looks on, on every, any given day. It's going to be different every time. Zach Silver, MLB.com. John, this may be a obvious answer, but I'm curious. Being a starter and getting to go a little bit deeper into games, getting some more pitches, how much does that allow you to kind of establish some of your secondary stuff as opposed to, you know, coming out of the bullpen, you got one inning and 30 pitches or so to show your stuff. How much does that let you get comfortable, you know, getting some more innings under your belt? Uh, I think that uh, that's a, a fact. What you just said definitely, definitely allows me to, you know, kind of establish things at your own pace instead of, hey, you need to have it established right now, this instant. Uh, coming in as a reliever, um, being a starter, man, just pitching out there for two hours, you know, as opposed to 20 minutes on a, a super long outing out of the bullpen. Um, just got two hours to work with instead of 20 minutes to work with. So uh, you can make a whole lot more happen in that time span. Has that been something you feel you've had to readjust to, or has that been a pretty natural just reacclimation that you uh, for me, you know, I don't, I don't really think about it like that. I think about I'm just going out there and, and I get to play baseball for a lot longer than 20 minutes. And, uh, you know, that's what I'm here for, man. I want to be out there playing for a couple hours instead of a couple minutes. Jared Gould, St. Louis Post-Dispatch. Hey, John, what would you like us to call it, a cutter or a slice? Uh, could not care any less. Um, Sometimes it's a cutter, sometimes it's a slider. You you could call it whatever you want. You can call it change up if you want to. They ask, I mean, I don't know if I'm on the screen or not, but are you are you playing around with other cuts like this or slides like this? Is that something you're learning how to manipulate more consistently? Is that a big step for the pitch? Yeah, definitely, definitely uh, gaining some feel with that pitch to be able to kind of. Maybe take a little off, and, and you know, maybe it's a little more slidery with with a, a couple mile per hour ticks taken off, and you know, maybe it's a little more cuttery if I if I hump up on it one time. So, uh, to answer your question, yeah, just just getting getting more comfortable, getting that confidence with that pitch, and uh, being able to to manipulate it like you said, and just kind of throw it for for whatever any given moment dictates. Who did you learn it from, if I may ask? Is that something that, like, Wayne, Say that again, please. Learn, who did you learn the cutter from, or how, how long have you been fiddling around with it? That's a pitch that I know Wainwright works a lot on. Mm -hmm. um, the first time I threw it was probably 2017, back when uh, Liliquis was the coach here. Uh, he showed me he showed me a grips and uh, kind of added it to my repertoire, but 
uh, talking to Mad Dog and, and and throwing my bullpens and all with Mad Dog is really where where it's uh, uh, started to come along from. I'd say. Ed Fredrickson, St. Louis Post Dispatch. Um, hey John, um, you talked about wanting to pitch longer, thinking the amount of time. Does that also allow you to use more of your pitches? Like uh, the curveball specifically, it seems sharp today. Do you feel like you get to use that more and establish it more when you're out there longer compared to maybe a shorter, shorter sample? Yeah, absolutely. Well, I mean, if if you throw one good inning as a reliever, maybe you throw 10, 15, 18 pitches, you know what I'm saying? As a starter, I mean, you're going out there planning to throw over 100 pitches. So that's, I mean, every pitch is, is uh, going to get used a whole, whole lot more. Absolutely. That's your Hicks, and then you throw 22 pitches in one, in one event. Right, that was incredible. Jack Silver, MLB.com. Hey, John, I've asked a few guys about this, but y uh, Schultz has said that Yachty, the best, one of his favorite things about him is that he doesn't sacrifice a pitcher's repertoire to you know, help the run game, give himself a better shot to throw a runner out. With a guy with a deeper repertoire, how much does that just help you not having to worry about a guy on base, you know, you got to throw a fastball if he's there. How much does just having that kind of confidence in your catcher you know, allow you to be more comfortable with yourself when guys are on base? Um, having Yachty behind the plate is is a tremendous asset to me as a pitcher and to our team as a whole. I mean, everybody sees what he does back there. He sees things in the game that, you know, other people just don't see. He, he's got a 10 out of 10 baseball IQ. Um, and uh, you just having him back there calling the pitches, you know what I'm saying? Whatever number he throws down, I'm, I'm pretty confident is the right one. So uh, I feel conviction in, in that pitch throwing it. Um, especially with a guy like Yachty calling it. OK. Any last questions? If not, we'll let John go. Very good. Thanks, John, for your time. Thanks, everyone. We'll continue with the Zoom.